Following the terrorist attacks of September 11, 2001, the United States faced the question of what to do with so-called unlawful combatants captured in military operations in Afghanistan or other counterterrorism operations. The answer at the time that military leaders seized upon was a U.S. military prison located within the Guantanamo Bay Naval Base in Cuba. The first 20 detainees arrived at Guantanamo Bay Prison on January 11, 2002. Since that time, Guantanamo Bay has served as a prison camp to detain dangerous individuals, to interrogate those individuals on suspected acts of terrorism, and to prosecute those individuals for war crimes. At its peak, there were nearly 800 individuals held at Guantanamo Bay. During the Bush administration, more than 500 were released to their home countries or transferred to a third country. This month, the Department of Defense announced that uh, there would, they would transfer uh, nine detainees to Saudi Arabia. The total number of individuals currently at Guantanamo Bay is 80. I want to make it clear that Guantanamo Bay has served its purpose and must be closed. Closing the Guantanamo Bay detention facility is a national security imperative. It continued, its continued operations weakens our national security by furthering the recruitment propaganda of violent extremists, hindering relations with key allies and partners, and draining Department of Defense resources. In 2009, President Obama signed an executive order expressing these concerns and ordering the closing of the detention facilities. As part of the closure, it may be necessary for those detainees who cannot be transferred to a third-party country to be in prison in the United States in facilities deemed to be able to do so. Today, I expect to hear concerns of the national security implications for transferring suspected terrorists to the United States. Some of the witnesses may even say that bringing detainees to the United States bring terrorism to our own backyards. Based on years of research and analysis by the Department of Defense, State, and Homeland Security, these concerns simply are not supported. There is no evidence that suggests housing Guantanamo detainees will bring additional attacks, attention, or danger to the United States. In fact, America has a long track record of incarcerating dangerous terrorists. Some of the most dangerous terrorists in the world uh, that we've known are incarcerated at U.S. maximum security prisons, such as the Supermax facility in Colorado. In fact, the man who tried to bring down the World Trade Center in 1993 and his co-conspirators have been serving multiple life sentences in Supermax since 1997. No one, terrorist or any criminal, has ever escaped from the Supermax prison. The only person charged in the 2012 terrorist attack on the U.S. compound in Benghazi is currently being held in Alexandria, Virginia, approximately 15 miles from where we are sitting now. In fiscal year 2015, the cost to operate Guantanamo Bay was approximately $445 million. In addition to these annual costs, maintaining the facility in the future would require an additional $200 million. Closing the facility is expected to save between $140 and $180 million annually. The plan President Obama delivered to Congress represents the best and most secure way to close the prison at Guantanamo Bay. Today, I encourage everyone to focus on the facts and not baseless fear. I look forward to your testimony and the testimony of all the witnesses and fact-based answers to my questions today. With that, Mr. Chairman, I yield back the balance of my time.